Sup guys, it's Alex here and we have our first Sweet 16 matchup here in the upset region to where none of these four teams are still alive in real life. We have up at up first, we have number four Virginia versus number nine Missouri. Both of these two teams lost in the first round of the actual NCAA tournament, but one of these two teams will advance to the Elite Eight here in the NCAA Basketball 10 simulation. But who will that team be? Let's find out. Of course, we got Drew Smith, Xavier Pinson, Tillman, along with Mark and Mitchell Smith down low. And then for Virginia, we got Kihei Clark, Reese Beekman, Jay Huff, Trey Murphy, and Sam Hauser. Both teams looking to crash the offensive boards here. Number four, Virginia. Number nine, Missouri, for a spot in the, in the Elite Eight. Let's tip this one off. And Virginia wins the opening tip. Beekman with it, using the pick and roll there from Trey Murphy. And see what Beekman's able to do, finding Kihei Clark. Contact, heading to the line already. Tony Bennett loving what he's seeing, wants him to keep being aggressive. Oh, and we're playing at Missouri's home stadium, <laughs> home arena, too. Look at that. They got the M up in the corner. This is a home game for Missouri. How about that? And Kihei Clark misses the first free throw. And there will be questions if Missouri wins this game. It's just the way that NCAA Basketball 10 worked. Because I think back in the 2009, or no, the 2010 tournament, I think Missouri was a host. And that's why they're hosting here, obviously. Kihei Clark misses both free throws. So Missouri ends up getting a home game here. Xavier Pinson with it. Of course, you got Bill Raptor and Gus Johnson on commentary as always. They take the three. Doesn't connect, though. That was kind of a weird shot. Just under 420 to go, blaze it. Kihei Clark with it. Looking down low to Beekman, and he's able to lay it up and in, 2-0. to zero. A minute gone in the first half, and we only have one basket scored. Looking down low, bad pass, able to hang on to it, though. Henson getting doubled. Looking down low, it rises, fires, not able to connect, though. Virginia comes up with the rebound. Kihei Clark with it. Looking over to Beekman down low. Jay Huff gets rejected. Over to Smith in the corner. Looking down low. Virginia gets a hand on it. Able to save it. A lot of ball movement here. Rises, fires, Pinson. Not able to connect. Colonzo Martin saying they're doing a horrible job with the ball reversals. Looking over to Huff. In the corner to K. Clark for three. Splash! Missouri has not scored in this one. The three gets rejected. A block three-pointer. How about that? Passes over to Beekman. Contact. No foul called, though. Gets his own offensive rebound. And he puts it up and in. 7-0 Virginia here early on. Missouri needs some sort of points here. And they get the contact heading to the line. Foul on Trey Murphy. Mitchell Smith here at the line, a communications major. Knocks down the first one. Fans are loving it in the background. Knocks down the second one as well. So Missouri on the board here took half the first half. 
DNA Clark, or no, that's Beekman with it. Now it's out to Clark. Fading away, that's a two. Bad shot, I don't know why he took that. Smith with the ball. Looked it over in the corner. Oh, I thought he was gonna pass it to Smith, or Pinson. They shoot the three. Not able to connect, Jay Huff with the rebound. Juanzo Martin wants to get another stop and end the run, but let's see if they're able to do so. Looking down low, heading to the line, and one! P.A. Clark, man. Five points on two of three shooting for him in this one. And knocks it down. Virginia here up 10 to 2. Fantastic start for them early in this one. And an illegal screen committed by Missouri. Actually, whoops, <laughs> it's a timeout. Never mind. <laughs> All right, coming out of the timeout, let's see what Missouri was able to draw up. They need to put an end to this run here early on by Virginia. They shoot the three. Hey, there you go, Missouri. That's a splash. Great timeout. Great play call there. 10 to 5. Let's see how Virginia responds. He had Clark with it. Looking down low to Beekman. And he's able, able to lay it up and in. Beekman and Clark have been the only two players to score for Virginia. On the right side. Getting doubled. Getting doubled again. Taking the three. Not able to connect, but Tillman gets the offensive rebound. And he puts it up and in, 12 to seven. Well, now they're two of seven from the floor, Missouri. Over to Beekman, looking down low to Huff, rises, fires. Able to connect. Looks like a little bit of a flop there. Didn't see much contact. Missouri. Juanzo Martin wants them to get a quick two for when they shoot the three. Not able to connect. But they get the offensive rebound. Tillman. Not able to connect though. 35 seconds to go in the first half. Virginia up 14 to 7. Kihei Clark with it. Looking over to Hauser for three. Ooh, in and out. 20 seconds to go now. They shoot the three. Splash! Missouri now down by only four. You have to shoot a quick shot. They pull up. And Kihei Clark, man, what a splash! He takes those three points right back as the half comes to an end. How about that? Virginia up by seven. Missouri only shooting 27% in that one. They're going to have to improve here in the second half. Virginia doing a good job of taking and making the three. That's the main takeaway from those keys to the game. Both teams with one offensive rebound. So here we go. Tony Bennett talking things over with his Cavaliers. Let's see what happens in the second half. Second half of play, Coach NCAA. Clark with nine points already. Henson with it. Looking down low. Good pass. Able to knock it down. Five point game. Missouri trying to stick with Virginia here. Looking down low to Huff, rises, fires, doesn't connect though. And Virginia comes up with the steal on the fast break, almost a turnover. Hauser able to maintain possession, fades away, able to knock it down, 19 to 12. Henson with it at the moment. At the elbow, they rise, fire. Not able to connect, but Smith right there to get the rebound, but it gets rejected by Sam Hauser, but it remains Missouri ball. T. 
Thelman rises, fires. Man, another offensive rebound by Smith, and he lays it up and in. Five-point game here, 3.46 to go. Over to Hauser, he takes the three. Splash! Huge three there for Sam Hauser. Eight-point game. There's been a lot of threes in this one. Missouri with the ball. Pinson a deep two. Able to knock it down. I mean, Missouri's hitting their shots here in the second half, but Virginia is too. <laughs> down low to Clark. Able to knock it down. 11 points for Kihei Clark now. Back to being an eight-point lead. Looking over to Smith. Back over to Smith there and able to knock it down. 24 to 18. These two teams trading baskets here in the second half. It's the opposite of the first half. They find Huff. Able to knock it down, man. <laughs> Missouri just can't come up with a stop. Looking down low and Virginia comes up with the turnover. Sam Hauser with it. Looking over to Beekman for three. And it does not connect. Xavier Pinson with it. Looking over to Smith. Fading away. Doesn't connect. Trey Murphy with the rebound. Kihei Clark with it. Looking over to Hauser. In the corner to Beekman for three. Splash! 11 point lead. Yeah, this one's pretty much over. I think Missouri knows it too. 29 to 18, man. Virginia just played fantastic in this one. Opened up a 10 to 2 lead. Now it's 29 to 18 with the ball. Sam Hauser with it. I mean, this team's looking like an Elite Eight team right now. Over in the corner, down low to Hauser. Nice little post move. Doesn't connect. Jay Huff, though, gets the rebound, and he is heading to the line. You hope Xavier Pinson, as a Missouri fan, would be doing more in this game. Only one for two from the floor. Huff knocks down the first free throw, 12 point lead. Knocks down the second one as well, 31 to 18. Smith with it over to Pinson at the elbow. Able to knock it down, 11 point game, 31 to 20. Nine assists for Virginia in this one. Over to Beekman, rises, fires, and knocks it down, man. 13 point lead. <laughs> and a turnover committed by Missouri. Oh man, 59.5 seconds left. Virginia's just subbing out all their starters. They know this one's over. But in the meantime, Missouri's going to keep fouling. I don't know why. I mean, you're down 13 with 58 seconds to go. This isn't going to be no Texas A&M Northern Iowa from 2016 game. Fans chanting to warm up the bus. Looks like point guard number three is going to foul out the backup point guard. <laughs> yep, he got in the game to play like five seconds and fouled out. And so now point guard number four for Virginia here at the line. Knocks down the first one, 34 to 20.
Knocks down the second one as well. A 15-point lead now, 35-20. to 20. And getting trapped in the backcourt, able to escape. We got a quick layup. But it looks like Missouri knows it's over. They've called off the dogs. 35 to 22. Fantastic performance here by Virginia in this one. Hey, Rise Fire. Missed that one, though. 30 seconds to go. <laughs> Give that guy a map. Where are you going? You gotta stay on the court, man. Twenty-five seconds to go, Virginia. Gonna be advancing to the Elite Eight in the simulation when in real life they didn't even make it out of the first game. They got upset by Ohio. Just goes to show you crazy things can happen here on NCAA Basketball 10. And I don't know why Missouri's fouling there, just extending the game. Ten seconds left in this one. Knocks down the first one, 36 to 22. Who would have thought Virginia would have one of the best offensive performances of the entire tournament so far? They knock down that one. And they bring the double. Missouri able to escape. I don't know how Missouri upset Gonzaga in the last round with the way they played in this one. They shoot the three. It's a splash. So there we have it, Virginia advancing to the Elite Eight as a four seed. Heartbreak for Missouri on their own court. <laughs> Drew Smith getting player of the game for Missouri with one rebound and four assists just goes to show you how they played. But man, congratulations to Virginia. They advance to the Elite Eight here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.